Hi, welcome everyone. This is David, aka Mr. West. Uh, slight change to the usual format, usual B-roll, and uh, talking over the top of the video. Thought we'd do an unboxing of the new Bose Soundmic Micro. Uh, so this has been out a little over a week now. I've been really looking forward to reviewing this. Uh, we've been rocking the original Bose Soundmic Mini 1 for over three years now. Still a terrific piece of kit, really good sound, and still going strong even though I can do something with a battery to fix it, but this has been a really, really good speaker, so it's really interesting to see uh, what the advances are in the technology in three years into this sort of tiny little speaker. So I've already unwrapped the plastic uh, off, this, off the other side there, uh, which is going to take a look into the box and delve into the speaker, have a quick look and see how it sounds, and um, we'll be doing a full review of this, so we'll get to know it over the next week or so, and uh, see how it performs outside and inside as well. Uh, we'll just take a look around the box itself first. So we've got the speaker on the front there. This is the black version. You can get a uh, navy blue, and there's also an orange version as well. Uh, these are mono speakers, but you can pair two together, which is what they call party mode. Actually, use your stereo sound, which uh, be interesting to hear. It retail for $99.95 in the UK. Uh, so on the back, it tells us it's got crisp, balanced sound. Uh, it's got a durable silicone strap. It's waterproof and rugged. Uh, you can pair two for party mode, as I just said. It's got speakerphone built in and up to six hours of battery life per charge, which is great. So the waterproof and rugged part, this is IPX7 rated. The whole speaker is covered in silicone, which completely seals the unit and obviously keeps water up and splashes. So uh, I would imagine, I mean, the picture does show it sort of diving into a pool there. I'm not sure if I feel comfortable doing that myself, but great for sort of around the pool. If I had a pool, I would uh, use it around it, uh, but great for sort of taking on holiday and what have you. Don't have to worry then about your investment uh, getting absolutely wrecked due to water ingress. So that's pretty much it. Uh, before I go ahead and take it out of the box, uh, one thing is it does have Siri and Google Assistant uh, controls built in. So on the front of the speaker, there is a multi-function button. So if your phone is out of sight, maybe across the room, uh, then you can use the button on the speaker to actually wake your, your personal assistant, so you can use Siri or Google Assistant, and it will all be routed through the speaker, then onto your phone as well, and it will obviously play back the audio through the speaker as well. Uh, as it's got the speakerphone built in, you can handle calls, you can make calls, and you can also end them as well on the speaker as well. So that's the overview of the speaker itself, so let's go ahead and take off this cardboard outer. Okay, so uh, the unboxing experience with the Bose Sonic Mini was really, really good. Everything sort of tucked into these nice little sort of drawers and everything. So uh, this won't be the same with this one because it's far less in the box, but let's just uh, lift this up. All right, so we've got a little bit of felt here as well. The speaker itself, there it is. That feels really nice. It's got this really nice uh, soft touch coating, which is the silicone, which is uh, really, really good quality as well. We've got the micro USB port at the top there as well. Just put this to one side to what else is in the box. That oh, looks a little bit like those oyster shells you get from the ice cream man. Alright, so we've got some um, right, so warranty information, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, we've got a quick start guide here as well. So it's telling me I need to download the Bose connector to set up the speaker and to connect it to the power to wake up the speaker. Right, okay, so we'll need to do that in a moment. So, and the rest then is the warranty information and safety instructions. And then in the bottom then we've got the micro USB cable, a little bit short, but you, know, you don't really want a mega long lead for this. You could always use the one that's uh, come with your phone, although some phones are moving to USB-C, but everyone's got one of these lying around. They're like swimming certificates, aren't they? Everyone's got one. So, okay, so I'm just gonna go and plug this in and I'll back in a moment and we'll get everything set up. All right, so we're back. Okay, so the speaker has been woken up, so we're just gonna take our phone. I've got the Bose Companion app installed anyway on my handset, so we're just gonna switch between two phones. So let's get the speaker some life. So it should talk to me, tell me about the battery life. Uh, the Bose Sampling Mini 2 and onwards, uh, they had built-in voice uh, control, so basically it tells you the battery life and what it's connected to as well. This can be connected to up to two devices at once. It remembers the last eight, uh, which is good, so now we see the last eight connected devices so if say for example uh, you're having a party and you want to sort of uh, let someone else play their tunes through your speaker if you don't want to be sort of uh, tunes greedy then it'll obviously remember up to the last eight devices which is very very handy so let's go ahead and power up battery 20 percent mobile device not found ready to connect okay connected to one plus three t so if you've not seen the Bose Connect app before, we'll just show you that now. So on the, speak on the screen, we've got the picture of the speaker, so obviously the different speakers you have, it will show the different illustration of it on there. 
On the bottom here, we've got the Bluetooth icon. Uh, if you had two speakers connected, obviously this would be lit up to tell you've got them in party mode. And on this side then, you can see that it's got the battery information, which is obviously updated uh, as the battery depletes on the device. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so looking around the speaker itself, so we've got this silicone strap here. So that is designed to sort of go around um, a bag strap, for example, or if you've got a bike, you can connect it around the handlebars of your bike. Um, and obviously it does feel like you can take some punishment if you drop that, you, you know, it would uh, scuff it, but you know, a quick wipe off and it would be as good as new. Uh, looking around the speaker itself, so if you look at the top, we've got the USB socket at the top, we've got the Bluetooth button there, power key, so if you push this... Battery 20%, connected to OnePlus 3G. And you can do that, just to get a quick update. And go along so it's asking for phone book access requests now so I can make obviously calls from the speaker as well if I want to so on the front here then we've got the volume down volume up and in the middle we've got the multi-function you can see that and that allows you then to access the voice assistant so let's give it a try has Donald Trump got real hair Truth about Donald Trump's hair. Former hairdresser reveals lacquer, home cuts, and more. Right. How tall is the tallest man in the world? Here's a summary from Guinness World Records. The tallest man in medical history for whom there is irrefutable evidence is Robert Pershing Wadlow, was found to be 2.72 meters tall. Set my alarm for 6 p.m. Cool, okay, so you get the idea, that's the integration. So, all right, so let's go on to how the speaker itself sounds. So just give you an idea of what's inside the speaker. So uh, it's got two drivers, it's got a transducer, which is for the sort of mid-high frequencies. It's got a silicone uh, sort of woofer driver. Uh, it's a completely sealed unit, so it doesn't seem like uh, there's much sort of base reflex around the speaker itself. The speakers are here. Um, and it does feel very, very substantial. Obviously, the Samsung Mini has two transducers, one there, so for left and right. You've got a base reflex woofer at the front, and you've got a passive radiator at the back. So this has half the amount of drivers built in, uh, but there's a good three years between them, and obviously there have been big advancements in sort of small speaker technology since then. So uh, let's dive in and let's take a listen to some tunes and see how this sounds. Here we go. When I go see and hear first hand this kind of sound, let's hear the rest of it. That's with volume at 50%. I've got to say, the speaker sounds really good. It's got some really good weight to me. I'm not sure how it comes across on the camera. Let's just hold that out there. thing I've noticed is that it doesn't want to stand up. There's nothing really to help you stand it up, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, you could stand it that way, I suppose. I think that was better. I suppose with it being a mono speaker, it doesn't really hugely matter which way up you sort of put it. Uh, but it's with the back bit there, with the strap, as you can see, and clips. And there's nothing really to help it stand up, but it does have some small sort of feet on the bottom, you can see there. You can see those, you've got four rubber feet around here, and that obviously helps it to stay on the surface. And I've got to say, it does sound really, really good. It's got a lovely, sort of full sound to it, which is really nice to hear. The tuning is really, really excellent. You know, I've got to give it to Bose that. I know they do have their detractors, some people don't like them. Uh, however, the tuning is really, really good. Obviously, with the built in protection circuit, obviously, the more you push the volume, the equalizer will roll off the lower frequencies, so obviously, protect the small units from exploding out of the device itself. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna pitch it up here. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. 
put it on a flat surface like this, obviously it acts as a soundboard uh, for the speaker. So uh, let's just crank it a bit more. Let's try the bow sounding lead just to see what kind of similarities they are. They do sound quite similar, the sonic signature of the speakers themselves. Um, it's all very recently got that sort of nice weighty low end which isn't like uh, out of control or anything. So let's uh, connect to the sounding mini. So here we go, same song. Obviously, this has more cabinet space to play with and it is a bit louder, but I've got to say, on balance, this is a really cracking piece of kit, I've got to be honest. It's just that uh, crank this up a bit more. Now, one thing I have noticed with the Sound Mini, which you don't get with this speaker, is that sometimes the higher frequencies, sort of mid high frequencies, sound a bit gritty, like, uh, like as if it's not really crystal clear, whereas this doesn't have any of that problem, so obviously. The differences in design will be is it doesn't have that problem. Uh, it's got a 30 foot range as well, it says on the website, which is really, really good. This is also the same as well. The great quality speakers, we do have some really good range. So, um, yeah, really, really impressed. We're just going to switch back to it now. Just disconnect from the Samling Mini. Now, let's reconnect to. Connected to one plus three G. I like that. Okay, so. Yeah, very very similar sound, but this sounds a lot cleaner in the sort of mid to high range. You really can't tell that through the camera microphone. I hope you can sort of get the quality of it at least. But uh, yeah, I really really like this. Um, obviously, we've got a full review to do. I've got to live this live with this now for a week or so uh, before I put, put it through its paces properly. Uh, sort of take it out in the rain, see how it copes with uh, some outdoor conditions or what have you. Uh, but on first impressions, very very impressed indeed. Um, if you've got any questions about this speaker, or if you want to ask me any other questions at all about the channel, then by all means please do I'll catch you in the comment section uh, obviously don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and also subscribe as well please subscribe if you want to see more great content coming soon including the full view of this speaker here so uh, that's it that's been my quick unboxing and first look at the Bose Samling micro Bluetooth speaker uh, my name is Mr. West and I'll catch you guys later